The tradition of Jamaicans feasting on bun and cheese at Easter time is believed to have originated from the English, who had cross buns on Good Friday in observation of the crucifixion. Jamaicans have retained this tradition over the centuries, indulging in varying spice buns during the Easter period. However, another type of bun is now more popular in the Jamaican culture, the kind that won't put a smile on your face and it is not digestible. Bun Facts Powered by Blue Dot. 710 persons participated in our survey. 48.16% identify as female. 51.84% identify as male. This is what they had to say. Are women more likely to cheat with a man who is better off financially? 7 in 10 persons think women are likely to cheat with a man who has more financial resources. Are men more likely to cheat with a woman they find more beautiful? Half of the respondents agreed that men are more likely to cheat with a woman they found more attractive than their partner. Most men and women don't understand each other. We go to school, we get an education, but they don't teach us how to behave in the world with each other. Oh, I need to get my hair done. I need to get my nails done. Of course, I'm going to fuck the money out. And yeah. maybe wife's at home for suffering. The moment. For a moment. Yeah, for the moment. Yeah. But at the inception, it's going to be her. You know, I said 25% of them cheat because of financial problems. Or financial status. But most of them don't cheat because the man go cheat on them. Or they just wild. Like when I was younger, we all was a, um, a side chick. And you get the vehicle for drive and the big money and the things and the clothes and the shopping at boutiques or yeah. I think it's just human being on a whole just able to do what they want and um, if the opportunity meet the desire and you have some fun, I guess that is it, you know, and I'm not knocking anyone, you know, it's just your experience. Yes, yeah, so I do believe that the females outside gets more because sometimes, you know, the Wi-Fi, I mean, they take care of the bills, but then when you look outside from the woman, she in a long ear style, her clothes, her shoes, at every and she gonna movies, and most of the money go out. Him just do the, the, the minor at home. Him do him after do. I have cheated for the sheer pleasure and just because I'm a man. Yeah, I'm gonna like that things from women, so even though I'm off with them things, it don't make no sense. But men do cheat for financial gains too. I think the man give the woman according to what he wants and how she's willing to please him. 25% of women cheat for financial gain. Some women cheat because, hey, him have him outside chick, no attention. So she'll find herself something. Some women go outside because, look, them have needs. I swear I didn't know that he was seeing you. As long as men are giving bond, then women are giving bond too. So it seems to me to be a 50-50 situation because Men don't bond themselves. They always have a willing um, co boner if you want to put it that way. However, bond is not something that involves just two parties, you know. There's always a third, a fourth, maybe even a fifth party because, you know, once you get in the habit of giving and receiving bond, it's, it is something that you tend to perfect. These are the original side chick song Be open I'm a feeling for your next girl man If we look at history From King David Right back to The people them right now in dance hall Bun has been a thing You see Bun in Jamaican vernacular mm -hmm. Is uh, Just a reality of life And in, if, in your, if you're in relationships right now some people assume that bun come with it. So if you're gonna be in a relationship, well, you can decide what kind of bun you're gonna be comfortable with and decide what you're going to do if you actually get evidence of said bun. Some people just don't want to know about the bun. They, they assume the bun, but the bun is like a dirty little secret that everybody is keeping, so bun is life. To alleviate the pain of, of getting bun, we need to accept. Well, first of all, let us just accept something. <laughs> we lie. People lie. Dishonesty is a thing. 
And because dishonesty is a thing, there's a whole heap of people being lied to. The individuals they lie to themselves, they lie to their partners, and they lie to the people who they are having extra curricular activities with. So this is a whole leap of lying. What I will say is, try not to miss a lie. Try to see what it is that you're working with and make informed decisions. Because I think that's the best way for us to move forward. So some people are not so good at monogamy. Then we just say, listen, you know, say, me like you, but me like some other people too. So if we can all like each other together, that might be a way to go. But maybe some people can't take that kind of honesty. So the lie continues. Does cheating impact the sex lives of couples? Of course. Cheating impacts everything of couples. It impacts the way they communicate. It impacts their trust in each other. Um, cheating is not so much about sex, you know. The issue with cheating is more the deception. So, of course, it affects your trust. It now affects the way how you even be in the same room with each other now because, you know, you're suspicious and you're going to start acting differently and, you know, make each other uncomfortable. So, um, I think relationships, it's not easy for relationships to survive cheating. In a lot of cases, they don't survive cheating. Um, but I think that the way how men and women deal with cheating are very different. For the most part, when a woman is cheated on, she wants to continue the relationship. She wants to find out what did she do or didn't do. She wants to know how they can move past the cheating. But if a man suspect, says she, I get him born, oh Lord. Worse if him go have evidence, say he might get born. A few things. Sometimes her life is in danger. We have seen many, many cases where murder, suicide is a thing. And so, even moving past the, relation, past the cheating in the relationship is not even a consideration no. when the man is on the receiving end of the bond. So, that dynamic is, is what it is. So, I guess, ladies, when you're cheating, you have to recognize that your consequences might be a little harsher. Jumping right in, how does the Bible identify cheating? So the Bible identifies cheating as two persons who are in a committed relationship. As measured by the state of the law of the land, that would be married. So you're in an intimate partner relationship and one person steps out of that relationship to have, whether it's an affair, um, sexual, some sort of sexual union with somebody else. It doesn't have to be actual sex because persons cheat in different ways. You know, people get emotionally attached, people, um, you know, get into another person in a way that is supposed to be exclusive to the relationship. What are your top three pieces of advice for those prone to infidelity? I've been a, a therapist and a family counselor for over 17 years, certainly. I would say don't create a void because oftentimes we look at the party who is guilty but there's a sense in which we have to also look at the other party. So don't create a void. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 7 you know, that you're not supposed to defraud your spouse, mean not withhold yourself from your spouse otherwise. So that's right there is the foolproof way to avoid infidelity. So don't create a void. Be present, be active, be in the relationship in a sexual way because marriage and sex go together and you can't have one without the other unless you performing an articular motus, right? So don't create a void. And then perhaps to the party who is the one who will look out, I'd say, don't yield. Temptation is a part of life. You're always going to see persons who are attractive. You're always going to be um, seeing something that you're enticed to. Mm -hmm. Don't yield, you understand? And that has to happen in the context of a relationship where persons are being other-centered and paying, paying attention to each other and paying attention to the relationship itself, you understand? Because it has to be sustained. The relationship has to be sustained. So do what you need to do to sustain a relationship so that you are holding the attention of your partner. People are easily distracted. Men are distracted. They are visually aroused. You understand? Them just want to see a broad deep and small ways to walk past and, you know, they, 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 they go there with their, their eyes. So ensure that you create that kind of atmosphere in your relationship, that space where you are exclusive to each other and that your visual sexual attention is captivated. Like me, you know, you know, my husband and I just celebrated 43 years together, right? And I'm saying I, I have to ensure that I am the 
the, the, on the site for sore eyes are not the cause of it. So I remain interesting in my relationship. My husband will never know what to expect. I expect until he's 99 that I will always be able to give him an epiphany. Where are you going so far? Mm -hmm. <laughs> May I forget the question when we want to ask next? Come like that. <laughs> We are created as women, you know, to provide intrigue to our men all the days of their lives. Men sometimes can, you know, you can figure them out a little bit. But women must always provide intrigue. So that is why we have to remain interesting. You're supposed to be able to hold the attention of the man for as long as he is your man. What is your advice for people who are like, you know, me always I get cheated pun, <laughs> or me always yes. End up a cheese. Yes, either said the good is not good or something. But anyway, right. moving right along. Um, that's why I have the Grow Your Marriage Academy because a lot of persons fall in the love with the idea of marriage, not understanding what marriage entails. And so I have to teach them what to expect. And so the premarital counseling is preparation, right? Um, but there's a course that I teach called the MRI, it's a marriage readiness intelligence, right? Where you are looking at yourself as a single person, embodying your singleness, because if you are 50% single and you're entering into a relationship with another 50% single person, then that is a hospital with two patients. Okay. So yeah, you need to be 100% yourself before you try to give yourself to somebody else. You have to love yourself first, the Bible says, love your neighbor as, the, as is what qualifies the statement. What are some of the factors that increase the chances of having an affair while married and how do we mitigate? Because I see that there's loads of broken marriages mm -hmm. around here. Right. So our relationship, first of all, is other centered. So my husband is the full focus of has the full focus of my attention. And I'm expecting the same thing. I'm expect, I'm expecting him to pay attention to my needs and my wants and my desires. And I know him can't meet all of my needs because him is not God. But at least the needs that I have down here, so mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not pointing down, I just said down here, so. Right, so the needs that I have down here, so he must be able to meet those needs, you understand? And I will also aspire to meet his needs. When we meet each other's emotional needs, that's important. You understand? When I know what it is that he needs from me in the relationship, so expectations need to be discussed. What I, when I know what he needs from me in the relationship, I can give it to him. And when he knows what I need, he can give it to me as well. And if we are seeking to meet each other's need in the relationship, then we really not have no time for nobody else. When I think about cooking, it's what my husband wants to eat. When I think of making love, it's what kind of position he wants. You understand? I know that if I can please him, I'll be properly pleased. If you need a degree, it's four years. You come here and you study for the degree. But yet still, you want to get into a relationship and know nothing about a relationship. You're supposed to drive a car, you know something about the car. You understand? So we want to take the time to prepare ourselves for the other things of life, but not to prepare ourselves for marriage and relationship. Bishop, with all due respect, 21st century, mm. does monogamy still have mm. and hold a space now? Can, I, can I stand and let you look at me and say, and just call me monogamous? Because this is one woman holding one man for over 43 years. My husband has been able to satisfy me. I'm sure you can ask him the question, roast or catch and quint, whatever. I can satisfy him all of his needs, the ones that he has for here. So yeah, monogamous relationships still exist and it is still working, irrespective of what is being said. This is a real world, it's not a perfect world. So you will have unfaithfulness, you know, uh, and that's based on people's beliefs. It's also based on people's needs and wants and desires because women, you know, for one thing, women don't hardly cheat for sex as in just penetrative sex. You understand, because that's not even nice because sex is not even penis dependent anymore. You understand? So it's not even that we cheat for. We cheat because our emotional need, we want affection, we want to be loved more than anything else and where we don't feel it because we are created to be loved. I need love in order to survive, like our plants need water. So if I'm not getting it, I'm going to, I'm going to search for it. And that is what Paul spoke, spoke about in 1 Corinthians, you know. He said, if you're not satisfied the need, so men want sex and men cheat for sex. Culture never teach them about sex, so they never understand that. That's for men, sex is a need. It's a real need like food. Because we have been hearing the way to a man's heart is stream stomach, so we just cook whole for food give them. But the way to a man's heart is not always stream stomach. Man needs sex. So when you enter in a marriage, prepare for sex. Enough more sex. Whole heap of sex. So you must prepare your mind, so mentally you must prepare yourself, emotionally you must prepare yourself that if this now run, 
in the relationship, then the man is going to run out. Because that's what Paul says, and Paul was very clear, and Paul himself was a single person. But he was very clear, that's why he says, better to marry than to burn with lust. You understand? Because the Bible tells us that if you're not satisfying the need, then it's going to be a cause for unfaithfulness. Pleasure. All mine. Thank you. If you're there with woman, I you. Where they are do? What people do at Island Grill? From morning, you're there and you You cook from morning? You cook? Hmm? Where you give them to eat from morning? Argument. What do you mean? Stop exhaust yourself, man. When you start cook, then you stay home and them thing there. Go on home. Go! I want to reach downstairs, I don't want satisfaction for me. Okay? I wash my clothes too. Psychology of Chill Chat. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our second episode. And today's guest is none other than renowned selector worldwide, Richie Feelings. Richie Feelings! Welcome How to the show. Feeling? Good. Welcome to the show, bro. Yeah. Respect. We we'll go right into it. Use a man who we'll, we'll check your Instagram page. I just born right. Right. <laughs> born no, when did I go stop? No, listen. When? When did I go stop? Please. When? Stop? <laughs> when? But um, first question is though, uh, your experience born in a personal. Situation. Yes. Clearly. Oh, oh, Clearly. Oh, oh. Tell me about that. Tell me about you know, say big big man thing. Well, you know, say entertainer get the most born. No, no, no. <laughs> Entertainers like get the most born. Females too? Are you saying male entertainers? Male, male, male entertainers get the most born. Just picture a man, same guy in Europe for all six months. Oh, please. And him there with a little young thing. Yeah. In her late 20s. I feel like she does the real work just so. Entertainer, if you say that, you have to say the other side. A selector. <laughs> then I entertain yeah. a selector, but, but, a selector. But no, 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 yes. But you also have to say, Uno give the most born too. Yeah, the stress way out. I wow. stress you, I stress you. Wow. Like Jamaican men, we don't give up. Wow. We don't give up. Wow. We don't give up. 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 We Wow. Look at the tigers. I like the tigers. Yo, the first time, the first time you realize, the first time you realize, say, my girl gateway. Oh, what, like, what do you feel? Like, what do you feel? What do you think you make sure you know, went outside and, and, and give her the thing? The whole area gets to learn certain things. Like, for instance, what am I going to say, a man got go to who he can get it from? While a woman got to who she want. Mm. I try to analyze it. Cause you know, I try to listen from everybody's perspective. Like, not for we want a trophy wife. Right? And we trophy wife. For then, they also like figure out where dust are. Yeah, absolutely. And act like she now eats out. So we go to some now and get a girl outside. And we and her sport go every party and I go at gym weekend and I go everywhere foreign and everyone. Mm. Woman just stay in the yard and wash cook and I take care of picnic. And we never remember say we woman in there and tell you, give her money, you know. Mm. But giving money is not all. Go on to the time and the look love and compassion where we did get her with. Richie, yeah, Richie, talk the things that we So Yes, we Richie, forget. talk to the man them. So we forget. We just attack from one side, you know. Mm -hmm. We forget, say, we have a woman, we need the whole way we are getting next woman out of the road. Because we use that and get her, then we stop the art. Mm. And we start to show our next girl. Because remember, we had, we, remember we had a woman there, home, and we used to have flitters shows there, and chicken back Wednesday, and potato out Thursday. And then all of a sudden, you're too busy for the role of that. Remember, say more time you get born, you know. The man way below your level, you know. And, so, and vice versa. Yeah, you get man way below your level. Load a man blocks the half a tree right now, I said. Nice, <laughs> right. right. Where does the road? Load a man blocks. Right? <laughs> so, load a man blocks, what's up, man? I said, I see it look good, mama. Yeah. And told to load a man that, that talk to her, compliment her every day, and a long time you was her man, you her a compliment. Because remember, you know, we always find out when it's done down all three, four, five months already. You know? Sure, sure. And never sure. the first time we find out, always after the twelfth time, you know. What do you mean? I mean, no woman no does talk about it. It's not a one time thing. You have ears say it's a one time thing, but not a one time. Yeah. What was your response? Did you cheat back? Did you keep? Did you I, continue the relationship? Cheat back, I'm, but no. And I want to hear, man, what try, was your response? I'm a, as a man, you try to boot your ego and say, I want to hear how I'm a girl. I'm a girl all about. So you go to some of my say, I'm a girl. 
When you draw for a, a, a woman, right? Or a girl or whatever you draw for, it's still not going to feel the same because you still have to think about that moment that we're going. You still have to think about it and it burns you, you cuss right choke. I remember you called her 37 times. I should not answer you called her 37 more times. <laughs> and for and, and sometimes in a, in a lot of in a lot of cases in a lot of cases in a lot of cases the thing the things where your woman in your house would do for you a girl out of the road more time they know they, they would they know how to do that thing so you kind of miss the fact that she would get up and make some tea for you girl out of the road you gotta tell her say she tell you for bringing but in a matter you still a cheap house with there you have to cook wash cook and clean I don't cheat Jackie did you stay or did yeah. you leave yeah, yeah me stay I'm ball I'm when me when me say ball like ball and... so you forgive her. She cheap by yes, you keep her? Then I only if a man do that, but then I tell you that part there. Eh? No man no leave. No man don't leave. No man. No so your man woman cheat no, let me just get this straight. Your woman has cheated on you mm -hmm. and you still you're you're there. Yeah, yeah, so your man no cheat by you, you're still there. I don't have any, I'm single. You don't have no yeah. Well me the album. <laughs> <laughs> so basically So basically yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know you're <laughs> You know your experience though, yes, you're no. saying that it, it was time you it wasn't giving your woman like she Right, so that's right. the other thing because So you take the blame, so alright, so because, I take the blame, I took the blame uh, for that. Thank you Chris Because yeah. if you have a woman and you're not satisfied with a woman in a no way at all Just giving her finances alone that And you're not pledge her That not yeah. work so That not going to work, you have a problem because money is not everything We need money, money is a necessity, you know, but one of the other things will come with money You just give her money and say, yeah man, she's a good man if you stop complimenting your woman and somebody else start complimenting her, what do you think will happen? She will go on to the side where she will get the compliment. True that. Because sure remember that. you know, you don't secure her. 20 or 30 a year you're gone. When last out of the 30 a year, alright, for the first 10 years you tell her she's nice and she's pretty. And then now she got have some kids and then you don't know. Boobies kind of long down her ground now and you don't know. She not to dress so she used to dress because you know she have kids now. She can't walk certain way in the house because she have to dress certain way. <laughs> so you right away still a run down. Esmeralda and Dulce Mina them out of one road. That Dulce Mina them cock up in some something that they know that. How it looks so. Come in. <laughs> you you stop cheating now? now? Yeah, you stop cheating. Me? Yeah. yeah. Nah, I cheat. I you know. stop the exam long time, man. Remember me, I get all I know. You know. Okay, good, good. So I was just explaining that to her. So as Jamaican men, we don't, yeah, we don't, we yes. don't cheat. We're just yeah, going to get old and experience. Yeah, we don't get old and We don't get old and know. No, you know, we don't give up. Jamaican men don't cheat. No, we don't, we don't. We <laughs> sure don't. viewers, we're going to believe that. Thank you, Richie. When the topic of bond comes up, everyone becomes a bond expert. Some might surmise that the victim was not pleasing the partner. Others might encourage the victim to try again or to move on. Nonetheless, the conversation is always the same. The victim has now been placed under the label of you a get bun. No, Malalai. On next week's episode. Yeah. put on a jacket for you and make sure you walk. That, that, them, you see, and them something here. These are the things that they be come upon the people, them, who go TV and say. Men in Jamaica are trying to do polygamy on a budget. Them don't know it. Go.